JPA Buddy not only provides visual designers, but also offers keyboard shortcuts for most used actions. It can save you hours and days in the long run. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the JPA Buddy features that feel even more powerful when writing code manually. And a note for the Kotlin fans, all features shown in this video are also available in Kotlin. To focus on the code only, we'll use the minimalistic mode. It's designed to minimize distractions for developers by hiding the tool panels. Their content becomes available in standard IntelliJ IDEA windows, such as Project Panel, Generate Menu, and so on. By default, the only visual element that remains visible is the Editor Toolbar. Also, you can customize the visibility of all panels to suit your individual preferences. This allows you to create your own working setup that specifically suits your needs. Regardless of the designer settings, all shortcuts, quick fixes, and coding assistance options remain available. After opening the project, IntelliJ IDEA suggests a few shortcuts that could be helpful. Let's use the second one to open the project view. Navigate to the source files using the arrow keys and open the Generate menu by using the shortcut. You'll see a separate section with the most popular JPA Buddy features. Type the name of the item you're looking for and all other options will be hidden. Let's say we have some database connection configured and we need to generate entities from it. So select the corresponding action. First, create a new package called Entities to store the new classes. To navigate between elements in any wizard, use the Tab key to move forward and Shift plus Tab to move backward. Use the Space key to select checkboxes, items in the table, or any similar UI components. Once you've finished configuring the entities, use the corresponding shortcut to click the OK button. And we're done! To navigate to another class directly from the editor, simply place your cursor on it and use the keyboard shortcut. To view entities hierarchy, we can use JPA structure. In the minimalistic mode, it's embedded into the project view. The tool window has several views and you can switch between them using shortcuts. You can also expand all the nodes in the tree to take a look at all the elements and collapse them back if needed. Now let's see how you can edit an existing code. To do this, JPA Buddy provides a JPA inspector. To open it in minimalistic mode, use the Show Context Menu shortcut and select Show Inspector Pop-up. The navigation inside the inspector works the same way as in any other wizard. Use the arrow keys to switch the focus between elements and space to start editing. To close the inspector, simply press the Escape key. The inspector is also available in Spring Data JPA repositories and Liquibase migrations. Let's imagine we have a management application with three JPA entities, user, task, and project. JPA Buddy integrates many coding assistance features for JPA entities, Spring Data Repositories, DTOs, and MapStruct mappers that make development more straightforward and transparent. Now let's implement a REST API endpoint to find all users by their username. With JPA Buddy, you can create a Spring Data JPA repository, DTO, and MapStruct mapper right from here. To generate a new Spring Data repository, just start typing the name of the entity. Configure the repository according to your needs. Define its name, parent repository, and package. Wow! A properly constructor-based injection has been generated. Also, for any repository, you can generate methods right from there. Just start typing the type of method you want, then choose the repository method type and configure query conditions. We'll search by the username and ignore the case. Exposing entities via REST endpoints may be considered bad practice. 
Let's use the JPA Buddy Map to Postfix Autocompletion to generate both a DTO and a map struct mapper. Specify the package where the DTO will be placed and select the required fields for it. Finally, choose an existing map struct mapper or create a new one. JPA Buddy not only injects the mapper interface, but also scaffolds the code to map the result. Fantastic! All we have left to do is return the list of DTOs and adjust the method signature. It's also worth mentioning that JPA Buddy provides flexible settings for coding assistance features. In the preferences, you can enable or disable automatic detection for bean injection types, define the bean injection strategy that JPA Buddy will follow during code generation, and configure whether to use smart completion features or not. Thank you for watching.